In this video, we're showing you how to use rich text in Please Donate, which basically means custom fonts, custom text, and loads of other awesome things all about your text on your stand. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. We really do appreciate it. And please do watch this video right until the end to know everything you need to know. And let's go and get straight into this. As you guys can see at the moment, I've just got a completely plain stand and let's go and customize this. So the first thing you need to do is head into the description of this video and there we're gonna have a ton of useful links um, and a piece of code you need to go and edit this. So in this case, I've currently got it in my notepad and as you can see, it does look quite confusing and we've got like stroke color and stuff like that, but make sure you copy it all, including these sort of brackets at the end to go start copying it just like so, and then go control C to go and paste it to your clipboard. Or you can go and right click and go and click copy. And then once you've done that, we then need to come back into please donate and let's come up to our stand and go and press on E to go and edit it, just like so. And then we want to go and remove hey, just like so, and then go and paste it in using control V. And then you want to go and click apply. So after you've gone and clicked apply, it's gonna go and look something like this because we haven't actually gone and customized it at all yet. And that's just what you've copied and pasted in. So then all you want to do is walk back up to your stool or stand just like this and go and press E to go and edit it or whatever you need to go and press. So here we are, and this is what it currently looks like. And then you just need to go and click on it just like so. And now we can go and start making some edits. So I want to go and explain what each of these things mean and how you can go and change them. So let's go and start with stroke color. So as you can see, it doesn't actually give us a straight color. It's a hashtag with either letters or numbers. So if you want to go and change the color, we need to go and decide which color we want. Now this is something called HTML colors. It sounds a lot more confusing than it actually is. But all you need to do is either go to a link in the description or just go and open up your browser. And what you need to go and do is, is go and search for an HTML color picker. Google actually have their own on the browser or you can go and use a website. So then all you need to do is go and select the color you want. For example, if you wanted to go and have a, a white outline, let's go and select white. As you can see here, it then goes and gives us the hashtag with the letters or the numbers. Then all you need to do is go and copy it just like so. You can go and copy the hashtag, it's up to you. Then right click and go and click copy. Then all you need to do is head back into Roblox and go and press it again. And then we need to go and remove what's currently here by highlighting it just like so and then go and delete. And then all you need to do is paste it using control um, V and then it's gonna have FFF. If I then go and click apply, it's then gonna go and change the outline to white. So honestly guys, it's really easy. So let's go and press edit again and click it. And then now let's go and change the thickness. So the thickness is the actual outline. As you can see, we can go and make that bigger if you like. Um, I think I'm gonna make it up to five. The font size, you can go and increase the size of the font. Um, I'm gonna keep it at 100. Then we've got the font color. So the font color is actually what the font is. At the moment, it's gonna be green, but you can go and change that once again by coming back to the color picker. So let's go and do quite a red, just like so. And then all we need to do is come back to the HTML part here and go and copy the um, letters and numbers. So I'll go, go and right click and go copy. And then all we need to do is head back to Roblox once again, click it, and now let's go and change that color. So let's just go and click here and go and remove what's currently here. And then go and paste it in using Control V. Go and press apply. And as you can see, it's now gone red. So let's go and edit this again. And now we can go and click it. And now we can go and change the font face. And the font face is essentially the font. If you want to go and look at different font faces, all you need to do is check out the link in the description. And I've got this sort of website for the 10 um, best font faces. So go and note this down, for example, Carto Gothic. And then all you need to do is put that exactly where Bangers is just in here. And then it's gonna go and update the font. And now finally, we can actually go and change what the text actually says. So at the moment it says guide realm, but let's go and delete this and we can put anything you like. So in this case, I might just go and put um, like donate or something like that and then just go and put apply and then it's gonna save it and it's gonna update it. But also you can go and write much more than just donate. For example, I could go and type in subscribe to guide realm. And there we go. That is how you can go and use rich text to go and customize the font, the color, and exactly how it looks. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. Peace.